Well, first of all, an obvious place to begin with is the news on, on Percy Tau. Um, how much of a boost is this and, and how much relief is it for, for you and the club to actually have him on board and he's, he's able to play for the club? Yeah, it's been a long time, I suppose. And um, <clears throat> uh, Percy's had some really good experiences in, in Belgium and uh, he wants to take the next step and um, join us this morning, so train this morning, first, first day. Exciting for him, exciting for us. So now we need to help him settle in and get to know his teammates and the team and and um, help him take the next step in his career. That's going to be the challenge for him and for us. Is he <clears throat> available for the game against uh, Newport, Graham? And, and is he one of the options that you're considering for the match? Yeah, he's available. Um, he's been training and playing um, in Belgium, so he's he's OK in terms of match speed training time it's just a case of him adapting to us but um, yeah I think he'll, he'll be involved in the group uh, at the weekend and can you just explain some of the traits he has and what he'll what he'll bring to the side well he's a left footed attacking player um, plays in a numerous positions but essentially between the lines off the right with his left foot uh, uses the ball well, attacks the goal, um, progresses the ball, plays in spaces, able to play in small spaces. On the counter-attack, he's, he's able to find passes and dr dribble or drive with the ball. So some attributes that are, that are interesting. And uh, again, it's just a case of him um, settling into the team and finding the best way to use him. And from what you saw from him today, I know it's, it's early doors, it's his first training session, but how quickly do you think he will be able to settle in and adapt to the way that you want to play? No, I think it'll be quick, uh, judging by what I saw today. He's a, you know, he's a, I think he's a, a nice personality, fits in with the, the group well. Um, and then and then his attributes are quite quite easy to to fit around. So um, I don't see a problem there. Obviously, there's, there's other players as well in the team. So... There's competition, which is what you'd expect in the Premier League. So, um, but that's good for us. We need that healthy competition. I can I ask you about uh, the current situation regarding COVID? Obviously, you're going to play against a team that's in League Two. I know that they are being tested under the protocols and regulations. Um, do you have any concerns or worries going, going to Newport in terms of um, coronavirus and that situation at the moment? No, I can't say I have any more concerns than, than, than what you normally have G generally in terms of where we're at as a country, as a society, as a nation, as the world. Uh, like you say, Newport have gone through the tests and um, so it's just like any other game for us. Um, but clearly we're all aware of the situation outside of football. Um, but no specific concerns for Newport. And... In terms of the game itself, Newport have a bit of a tradition of um, being giant killers in, in cup competitions. Is this a game that perhaps isn't the ideal timing with, with Man City away and Leeds away for you? It, it, would you have preferred a, a different tie at home, perhaps? Well, we you haven't got that luxury. You you you. Um, that's the that's the cup competition. That's the magic of the cup, as they say. Um, you have to play the tie you're given and, and this is the tie we've got and yeah I agree that they've they've done they've, they've brilliantly in terms of their um, cup record and uh, I think Michael's done a fantastic job there considering where they were when he when he took over and uh, where they are now the amount he's, how he's built the club I think they've used the cup runs really well to develop the team develop the club and if you look even this season uh, in the Carabao Cup, some really impressive results and performances. So, um, yeah, they've got that history. They've got that um, identity, if you like. So it's a challenge for us, but we're, we're looking forward to the game. We want to go there and, and win, and that's what we'll try to do. There's plenty of talk at the moment, um, chat about Yves Basuma and, and his future, and he's being linked with, with a couple of clubs. 
Um, a, have you had any interest as far as you're aware in him from other clubs? And B, how likely is it that you might look to enter some negotiations with him and his representatives over a new contract? No, no interest, uh, as I'm aware. And um, yeah, I'm, I think that's between the, his, you know, the player and his representatives and the, and the club. It's, uh, no, no, um, nothing I'm aware of. I think Eves has he's been a, here a while. Um, I think this season he's probably played as much as he's played, and he's he's enjoying his football. I think he's taking steps. I think he's probably playing as well as he's played all, all at his time here. So that's good for us. We need to focus on that. My job is to help him keep him taking steps on the pitch, and then whatever happens after is um, is not necessarily my area. And, and just finally from me, can I ask about um, uh, Glenn Murray, um, some suggestions that he may be cutting his loan spell short with Watford and, and going to another championship club, uh, Queen's Park Rangers. Are you aware of this, Graham? And, and if that was the case, would that be a good move for him, given the fact that he hasn't really had much of an opportunity at Watford? I'm not aware, to be honest. No, I'm, I'm, uh, Glenn's... Uh... Uh, I bumped into him the other day, actually walking the dog. So uh, we didn't talk about we didn't talk about that. Is it, is it, I really like Glenn. Um, I know he wanted to play as much as he as he can in his final season. So or his final seasons. So I guess there's a, I can understand uh, the desire to to do something, but I, I don't know. I've I've not spoken to him about it. Thanks very much, uh, Graham. Just, just finally, one more from me. I mm. should have asked you at the start just about team news. Is um, is Tarek Lampsy available and fit for this game, and also Danny Welbeck? No, Tarek, Tarek's not. Um, he had a little setback um, in his rehab, so he's going to be a, he's going to be away for for a bit of time, I think. Um, still, uh, Danny probably all the game will come too soon for him. Um, Aaron Conley will be a couple of weeks, I think, and um, Adam Alana has been ill uh, today, so again, not sure he'll be able to recover for that for the game. And Stephen Alzac is still recovering as well, so um, that's a, that's the team news. Thanks, Greg. No Thank you. Cheers, Elliot. Um, Johnny, would you like to go next? Yeah. Um, Graham, I just wondered, in terms of the balance of your squad, how do you go about a, a game like this? You've got two Premier League games after. Is it going to be like the EFL? Will you treat it like that with a blend of first team players and youngsters as well? Well, we, we, we're, <clears throat> we're having those conversations and that, that's the planning process at the moment. I think we want to we want to win the game against Newport. That's what we want to do. We want to go through. Um, so so it's, in, it's important that we have that mentality and that approach. And then, like you say, we've got a, a big week in terms of three matches in six days. So we have to be aware of that and conscious of that. But really, it's a case of, of um, focusing on Newport, take that game first and play the team that we think gives us the best chance to win. And Eraser Jahanbach was involved uh, you know, extensively in the EFL and in the Premier League as well. There's a few quotes from him in an in a Iranian outlet about things haven't worked out quite as he wanted to at the club um is he still part of your plans going forward yeah i'm not i spoke to him this morning he mentioned that he doesn't know where that's come from and and um it's a, a bit of a mystery to him um but he's still part of our squad he's still part of the group he's he played against arsenal He's training well. He trains well every day. He's 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 one of our players, and um, we're 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 trying to help him improve and 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 play play more football because probably it's clear that he, he would like to play more as 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 um, everybody every player in the group would want to play as much as they can, and that's that's normal. So, um, but we have no problems with Ali at all. Another player who I'm sure would relish the opportunity is Jason Steele. Is he likely to be involved? Obviously, you've kept him as your number two. Now, Robert Sanchez has been in there uh, in goal. Yeah, he'll be involved. He'll be in the he'll be in the squad. He'll be in the group. Um, and again, we'll we'll make the decision on 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 who's starting closer. Um, but um, you know, I think I think Rob's done done well in the games as well. So I'm happy with those two. In terms of the fixture, is it is it probably the worst combination for you away to a lower league side? Because obviously, 
they have, a, as Eddie was saying, a, a track record in giant killing in, in cup competitions. But um, is it probably the worst worst combination, I suppose, that you could have had for this stage of this competition? Well, I think everybody would say they would, if they could choose, they'd want a home tie. Um, so yeah, it, 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 you'd be lying if you said yeah, we, we, we'd, have, we'd have wanted a, an away away fixture. Um, but as I said earlier, it's the FA Cup, and you can't do anything about it. It's the draw and um, you have to play whoever you get, wherever you get them. So that's what we have to do. Um, a team that, have, that have, have got a history of performing against um, teams from a higher division and, 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 and knocking them out in this competition and um, in other cup, uh, other cup competitions. And then they've also, I think, as a team, they've developed so that they're pushing for promotion. So as a club, they've they've grown. So again, credit to Michael; he's he's done fantastically well. So I have a lot of respect for him and a, a lot of respect for the cup competition and how competitive this is. So, um, like I said, we'll go there with the mentality that we want to try and win the game and with all respect to our opponent and do our best. The last two home fixtures have been postponed. Um, there possibly snow on Friday, rugby there on Saturday, and your game on the Sunday. Could be a bit old school, third round FA Cup tie, couldn't it? Could be, yeah. Um, yeah, I think one of my is it is it Ronnie Radford that goal at Hereford when he smashes one in from about fifty yards with no mud on anywhere and no grass anywhere. Sorry, so yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, again, um, that's part of the the competition. That's part of what you have to deal with. So. Uh, we'll, we'll have no complaints. We'll, we'll, we'll get on with it as best we can and um, do our best and try to try to win. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Graham. Thanks, Johnny. Here's JC. Thank you, Chris. Um, you're up next. Uh... Graham, good to see you. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. Yourself? Um, yeah, very good. Thanks. Very good. Chris, uh, uh, sorry, I didn't see. I can. Sorry, your face didn't come up there. <laughs> Um, it's been mentioned, Newport's record in the FA Cup is, is something to behold. You know, Leicester, Leeds, Middlesbrough, Spurs pushed all the way. You can't say you haven't been warned. No, exactly. Um, again, to repeat, Michael's done a fantastic job there. Got a group together, um, they fight for each other, good way of playing. I think they've historically they've had those results that has allowed them to develop and grow the team, the club. They're pushing for promotion. Um, there's a, probably a good feeling and they'll be looking forward to the game, I'm sure. You've put, no doubt done your homework. They're more than your stereotypical lower league side. I know the pitch is, is, is well mentioned, but Mike Flynn has done wonders in terms of trying to play football, the type of football that you enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when you watch them play, uh, the pitch will hamper them as much as it hampers the opposition because they want to play, they, they, they mix the game well, but they've got some good... Players, she in midfield, you know, you know, is technically very able, um, and, and they've got other players that can that can pass the ball and take the ball, and they've got a good structure about them, well organised. Um, like I said, mix the game well, can attack well, defend. So yeah, it's um, uh, we're, we're going as I said with the, the greatest respect to our opponent, um, but at the same time trying to win the match. Yeah, it almost feels like you're underdogs, such as such as their record, despite you being a Premier League side. He really does have the the magic touch, it seems, Mike Flynn. Is he someone you came across when you were at Swansea? Yeah, I did meet him a few times. I really like him. Um, as I said, <clears throat> as a as a as a as a guy, I think he's a a, a good person. Uh, I like his character. I like how he speaks. I like how he how he goes about his work. And then you can see as a team. They've they've gone from where they were when he first came to where they are now. It's huge huge credit to him for that, <clears throat> because I think they've like I said they've used the cup runs to raise the profile. They've used the cup runs to grow the team, to grow the club, and I'm sure you know promotion will be the aim for them this year. But at the same time they'll, they'll use they'll try and use an FA Cup run to to to, to support that. So um, we need to try and stop that of course, and um, hopefully they can just be celebrating a, a promotion rather than a cup run. <laughs> um, I'm sure you, like everyone, wants to see fans back, but you know, Rodney Parade can be a bear pit uh, in these big cup games. Is that an advantage to you not to have that traditional third round atmosphere at a lower league club? Or do you think that takes away some of the magic of this weekend, not having fans there? 
Well, it certainly takes away some of the magic. I think when you talk about the magic of the FA Cup, you, you know, you, you you think about the supporters as well as you think about the, the environment as well. And supporters play the part in that. They create the noise, they create the hostility. They make it um, difficult. And I think um, that's something that we're all having to deal with in these times. Um, we all want supporters back, but it, it feels like it's a long way off at the moment. And in terms of advantage, it's it's only an advantage or disadvantage uh, to, a, to a certain point. You have to play the game, you have to play um, football. I think you look at their results this year in the cup competitions, they've they've got the results without supporters there. So, um, you know, they're, 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 they've got a good identity, good idea of how they're playing. They believe in each other and they'll be fighting to, to beat us. So we have we have all um, respect for that and understanding of that and then we have to bring our own game. And finally, Graham, it's your first time back in South Wales since since leaving Swansea, of course. Of course, you went on a good cup run when you when you were at the Liberty Stadium. I'm sure you've kept an eye on them, a lot of fears about what might happen once you left, but uh, really go for it under Steve Cooper. Yeah, brilliant. Um, I think he's done a fantastic job there. Uh, Steve, uh, really, really pleased with, with how they've you know developed um, we had a wonderful time there at Swansea. One year it was it was quite turbulent, I must admit, but at the same time, fantastic. Great club, great people, great supporters that were that were brilliant to us. And um, yeah, we're we're obviously hopeful and and, and cheering them them to try to get promotion and and back into the Premier League.